hey everyone so today we are going to discuss the solution to this problem so this question was asked in gate 2019 examination so this question is related to the directional derivative so it is given to us that t is a temperature function and it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance of p from origin so how do you give a distance the square root of x square plus y square plus z square and you have to take the square of that so the square root gets away okay so you have to not worry about the square root so that's one thing and if the value of the temperature at some point is given you have to find the rate of change in the given direction so rate of change means derivative and direction is given to you therefore directional derivative so the hint for this problem is we are going to use a nice theorem which is a which says that if you have a nice differentiable function in this case it's a differentiable function then the directional derivative is nothing but the dot product of the gradient of a function with the direction vector which is a unit vector okay so qr is the direction so you can just pause the video now try to find the grad f try to find the direction take the dot product and then you can match the answer later on or also you can just increase the speed and you can see my solution as well okay so now let us try to find the solution so what is given to us it is given to us that t is inversely proportional to the square of the distance so we know that distance is square root of x square plus y square plus z square and when you take the square square root goes away okay so now here once i have this if i remove the proportionality constant this is what i get where k is the proportionality constant now what is given to us it is given to us that t of 0, 0,1 is root 3 so when i put this value in the above equation what i get k upon 0 square plus 0 square plus 1 is equal to root 3 and this implies that your k is nothing but root 3 so now we put the value of k over here and what do we get we get that t is root 3 upon x square plus y square plus z square okay now what is the directional derivative of t in the direction u okay and at the given point p how it is given it is given by grad of t at the point p dot product with the direction vector where your u is the unit direction vector so let us try to find u and gradient of t okay so now what is my u bar so it is given to me that my r point is nothing but 0 comma 0 comma 1 and my q point is given to be 1 comma 1 comma 2 so and the direction is said the direction qr if you see the question so what is this this is or minus oq so what is my or or is 0 0 1 and my oq is 1 1 2 and when i do the subtraction what do i get minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 but is this the unit vector no so we want to make it a unit vector so first of all i will find the length of this which is square root of minus 1 square plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 square and once I do this, I will divide by the length. So I get minus 1 by root 3, minus 1 by root 3, minus 1 by root 3. Great. So therefore, I got the direction now. Now what I want to do? Now I want to find my gradient of t. So what is our gradient of t? So this is my t. So what is t with respect to x? What is derivative of 1 upon x? It is minus 1 upon x square. So in this case it will be minus 1 upon x square plus y square plus z square whole square into derivative of this denominator by chain rule which will come out to be 2x so this is minus 2 root 3x upon this whole square okay similarly if you try to find with respect to y and with respect to z you get the same thing so minus 2 root 3x whole square comma minus 2 root 3y the whole square comma minus 2 root 3z the whole square okay now at which point they have talked about if you have to find at the point 1 comma 1 comma 2 so we'll find grad of t at 1 comma 1 comma 2 so what do you get minus 2 root 3 upon this the whole square minus 2 root 3 upon whole square and my z is 2 so that will be minus 4 root 3 upon whole square now we take the dot product of this gradient vector with the unit vector now when you take the dot product you can see here at the bottom there are root 3's 
and here in the numerators there are the root threes so when you take the dot product with each component root three will get cancelled and this minus minus will also go away so when you take the dot product so here you have minus one minus one minus one and here you have this so when you take the dot product provided my calculations are correct what i get is uh, two upon what is this one plus one plus four so this is 36 so i get two upon 36 plus 2 upon 36 plus 4 upon 36 which is 8 upon 36 which is nothing but 2 upon uh, 2 upon 9 and answer i think this is 0 0.2222 yeah so that's how you solve this problem so i hope this problem is clear to you if you have any doubt in any of the step you can ask me and if you have any doubt regarding the directional derivative concept then for that the link you can find in the description thank you